Hey everybody, Teacher Blaze here. Welcome back. I uh, apologize for my voice. Um, I don't know what happened. I might have just been uh, yelling too much in my classes or something, but uh, it's a little bit off today. So I apologize for that, but I wanted to get a recording in because uh, I left it and the last episode wasn't great and uh, I wanted to explore Hogsmeade with everybody. So if you remember last time, we were introduced to the map of Hogsmeade, which is just really nuts. So we got scrolls, sporting needs, all of Anders. That's where you get your wand, I think. Family since 382 BC. So I was going to ask the question: If they're using BC, do wizards think Jesus exists, or is this just in a time frame where it's too early to change to the proper BCE? Like, instead of BCAD, you go BCAD. Or BCE, CE, sorry. Um, Alright, let's let's uh, explore. Oh. Get over here. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Huzzah. Is that one? That's one. There we go. I thought it was a bird for a second. Ooh, I completed uncollected rewards in the challenge menu. Let's check it out. So I hope everyone's uh, field guide pages. Oh, I have to claim the rewards. I'm an idiot. I don't want that hat. Okay, so I got new gloves and I got new spectacles. Oh, I thought I got... Oh, no, I haven't gotten new gloves yet. But I got new spectacles. So let's check that out. No, I didn't. Where did they go? Like... I didn't understand it. Maybe it's in, like, something back home? Maybe I have a chest back home or something in my room. An inquiring mind. Hello, sir. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take Hello, Thomas. Conjuring lesson, then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Uh, Conjuring, that's like creating enough. stuff, right? It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Okay. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients <clears throat> and know what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Chopping station. Potting table. Okay. Potting table with small Nothing pot. Like small potion right station. If cool. you're interested. Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Oh, you can sell stuff? I'm going to sell this scarf because I didn't like that. A pleasure doing business with And these spectacles. Oh, and I can buy more stuff, but it's expensive. Holy crap. Okay. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I will say one UI thing. It would have been nice if it blacked out stuff I couldn't buy. Ooh. Okay. Sneaky. Silver wooden spectacles. Let's take a look at those. 
so I don't know, like, is this entertaining for you guys, or is it boring me doing all this stuff? Oh, it increases my, my stats quite good. Um, going around doing this stuff, I'm, I'm, I know I haven't really gotten into the game, I'm going to try and record a longer one today. Um, <clears throat> and maybe over this weekend a bit. Rebellion. Just to, uh, to keep up, because I know... I haven't really explored a lot. There's a lot to see in this game. What are all these things? Locks, okay. So I need to get a lock picking thing soon. Let's check out the map. Where do I need to go? I'm there. There's a sport shark shop and oleanders. So let's check out this. Is this a sport shop? No. Okay, that's all of Anders. I keep calling it oleanders. <laughs> Olivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possession one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold Olivander. In the profession of wand craft since 382 BC, BC, the Olivander family are considered the best wand ma makers in Britain, if not the world. Cool. So shouldn't the shop be... What's this? Is this it? This is something. I'm just gonna go in and steal stuff. Okay, let's do that. Rose riding attire. It says it's better than what I have. Ah. Right here. Oh, it's locked behind a level. Cool. So the gear is, I was worried the gear wasn't going to be like real RPG gear, but it is, so that's good. Okay. Uh, Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. What is this? The three broomsticks. I remember this for something. Maybe. I don't know. I need to stop getting distracted. Field page, currently run by Sirona Ryan, allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the Three Broomsticks is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire. Okay, so this is... I think I'll be back here later, I would bet, but there's a chest upstairs. I think, so... Yes, over here. Rebellion. Are you talking? There's stuff upstairs too. Ooh, what's this thing? There's a lot of stuff. Okay, so that page is outside. Is there anything left over here? Let's get as high as we can. See what happens. What is going on? Okay, I'm stuck. And I can't move. I can't do anything. Oh no. We have to reload everybody. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's, uh, start from the last save point, I guess. It was 16 seconds ago, it said, so that's good. Hopefully, I wasn't stuck for more than 16 seconds. Oh, okay, it just drops me here. Okay, so we'll... Rebellion. Oh, hello. Seridwins? Caridwins, precarious cauldrons. The precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Caridwins advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye catching, is ill advised for anyone who is wishing to brew a potion of ill effect. Or for, of any intended effect. Okay. Okay. Let's go where we need to go first. So we know where we know where Olivanders is. Olivanders is. Oh. It was a bird, not a page. Okay. 
Um, it's right here. Merlin. Chest. Not again. Here we go. Ring the bell. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, <laughs> about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, That's what she said. I do. Sorry, I had to do it. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Whoa! Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? So you can just like use random ones, but like your real one has to be we'll find you something good to or like tied to you somehow, or no, what? No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Interesting. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Isn't that what uh, this happened to Perry, didn't this it? This is proving to be trickier than I I know I'm asking a lot of questions. You don't have to answer all of them. But. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, cool. Okay. Finalized one. No, okay. How intriguing. Yeah, I have to have black, obviously. Nope. 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 That's kind of cool. Curious indeed. I don't like that one. Natural gray. Warm brown, honey brown. It is just How color. Intriguing. Hmm. I like these ones. Nope. Curious indeed. Okay, we'll do that one. Dark brown. Wood type. Let's go maple, because I'm from Canada. How intriguing. Not you. Hornbeam. Maple. Uh nine and a half inches. Let's go twelve and a half. Flexibility. Supple. We'll do hard. There's more than a heart. Intriguing. Unyielding. Uh, dragon. A dragon heart. Of course. Wand is most powerful. And what do you think? Yeah, I like that. So, do I get new ones? Like, was that just a? Or do I get to upgrade it? Or? I guess we'll see. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. 
Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. All right, let's go visit the magic meat. Take a look at the map. I have my wand now. And now I can become the evil dark wizard. Wand handles. Okay, you can change your handles. Cool. Um, I'm sure all of that, like, how... How big it needed to be and things like that. I'm sure that's a big deal. Let's head here. The UI is really cool with it being in a book, especially the menu, but I would like it's a little slow to respond to my inputs, honestly. Revelio. Oh, there's a page over here. How far away can I do this? Sweet. <laughs> Rebellion. There's something there. I don't want to explore too much. I, I, because I don't, I don't want to just explore in in videos because you guys might get bored from that. I think I'm supposed to go this way into here. Okay, get something from here. Welcome yeah. to Jay Pippin's Pushins. Hello, Jay Pippin. Sorry. You guys are probably sick of my English. Fake accent. J. Pippin's potions established in 1753 as the apothecary in Hogsmeade were propri proprietary. Perry Pippin sells a variety of potions and their ingredients. Proprietor, not proprietary. Pardon me, sir. Probably. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley said... Hogwarts is in Scotland, I think, right? I knew it, Hogwarts. I love Scotland. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside... I've gone twice. It's one of my favorite places. If you're anything like I was at your age... You'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Mm, buy the stuff you told me to buy. So what kind of potions? Maxima... Uh... Oh, let's get try. Seven. Let's get the shopping over with. Look at the rest of my inventory. Combat or tools. Come back another time cool. If you're in a rush today, I could sell this. Very good. Never hurts to keep um, my stocks replenished. I'm gonna keep the traditional thing. I hope to see you again. It says you're that new me. robe I got is better. So see how slow it is to get over. That's like, it's okay, but it's a little bit frustrating. Equip. I don't like it, but it gives me better stats. So we'll use it. I wonder if there's uh, any... What's it called? Transmogrification? You would think there would be in a wizard game to just make your appearance look the way you want it to. 
What are those? These look like bees or something. What are those? Oh, you can't target them. That's frustrating. Oh, hello there. Please come in. Hello, Timothy. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. <laughs> one big adventure. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality <laughs> is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Dittany. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Oh, Plenty of ingredients. I'm going to sell the robe, I don't know. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. And also, it's letting you sell stuff that you have equipped, which isn't great, in my opinion. All right. Let's go find Sallow. My boy, Sallow. I don't know why I jumped over there. They've done a good job on this game. So far. Like, I haven't, I haven't had to fight. Like, the combat hasn't been super crazy yet, but, you know. Zonkos. Looks like fireworks. Cool. Oh, I saw you. There we go. Well, you got a new collection, right? I should have a new reward. New challenges. Right? Claim that stupid hat. We're definitely wearing that stupid hat, probably. It's gonna make me look ridiculous, but also awesome. Oh, it's not neckwear. It'd be headwear. So see, it's not, it must go to like, um, where's challenges? Right here. Uh, it must go to, to like where, it, it must go to like a chest or something. What's this place? Rebellion. Oh, I almost missed you. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, Sebastian. I what it do, blood? Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh. It's a troll! He's armored like, um, that goblin guy. What the hell? Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! Haha, <laughs> let's do it! Oh, dodge. Okay, I'm not gonna Leviosa him. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it, Leviosa. We'll wear him down eventually. Oh, ho, ho. Taste of his own medicine. No, <laughs> Sebastian! No! Oh god. Okay, so I gotta.
Can I hold it? Can I look? Hold it? Okay, kind of. Oh, I should've done Protego there. Hey, that was fun. Whoa! I just killed that dude. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. So is an aura like a policeman? Unharmed, I don't know. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. This is a chest? No, okay. Let's repair it. Repair it. Oh, uh, hello there. Um, a moment if you would. I'll go uh, and see what he wants. I'm trying to help save stuff. Let this guy want something. Let's just steal what's in the bag. Okay, clearly I'm supposed to repair stuff first. Repairer. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. There we go. And another. Else is broken. This I don't think you did that much damage. I thought I did more damage. Lucky you did do more damage. And then here. There's one more. Okay. Where could you be? This way? Is this it? There it is. Stupid troll. So do they not care that I killed a troll? Like your trolls just like animals or what? Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. A fancy I hat. Glad oh. bags, wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank of course you, I'll take Hill. it. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Traditional school robe. It's not as good. I'll take it. But... That's a glad Gear screen to start, okay. I don't know why they're giving me a tutorial. Oh, refined school cloak is way better. It's got gloves I can buy. They're not that expensive. Let's go. Let's buy the little ones right now. 
Where does this go? On my neck? No, that's like another robe. Garb. I don't like the scarves, but like... Mm. So that. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for that. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with so you. So is butterbeer alcoholic? Three broomsticks is just this way. Because that wouldn't be very good. Let's get to our gear. Change our handwear. Take that. Gives us some more stats, neckwear. I guess I'll wear a stupid scarf. Can we hide it? No. Mm, whatever. Don't have any good headwear yet. I sold my one hat. Alright, let's go get drunk. Or whatever. Butterbeer does. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practices, the mannequins at Godrigs Glad rags serve glad rags. Serve only as a means to display the laser, latest in wizardry flash. Shop at your what is over here? That's one of those eyeball chests. So I can't do that. I'll steal some money from him. Uh, before you ask, I'm all out of the new socks. So if you're married, you'll have your... Let's go. Have some butter beer, friend. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Hmm. What was that noise? Oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> that wasn't very clandestine. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Hmm. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Huh, interesting. So Dobby's a goblin, isn't he? No, or is he different? Really... No, Dobby's a house elf or something. There's a face I haven't seen before. Yeah. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <sighs> oh, there he is. The time lane. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. Theatrics? I'm not here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. 
This is a little bit of a cliche meeting, but I'm okay with it. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? <laughs> I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Okay. Back to Hogwarts. Oh, what's that new meter? Is that like my mana pool or whatever? I don't know. Do wizards use mana in Hogwarts? Probably not. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. She'd still give us detention? You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Hogwarts map. Fast travel to your common room. Is this it? Great hall. Well, I don't know where my... Let me assume it's a great hall. Hufflepuff common room. Okay, there we go. I gotta learn this map. I really do. Oh, why is there an owl on my perch now? Hello, owl. I shall call you Owly. Um, I think that's a good place to stop. We explored Hogsmeade. We got home. Uh, that'll be it for today. Thanks for joining me, guys. This has been Teach Plays. I think my voice has uh, normalized a little bit, so I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I got an owl post. We'll read that first. From him. Uh, oh, no, I have to do it. Okay, Professor Fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. I will do that, Professor Fig, next time on Teacher Plays Hogwarts Legacy. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Have a good day. Class dismissed.